Hey guys, welcome back to Ultima Beauty. Today I am starting my spring 2024 makeup trends for you guys. I know it's hard to believe, but spring is really right around the corner. So one of the looks that is going to be very popular this spring is ballet core. What is ballet core? Great question. So it's sort of that pretty ballerina pink, pale pink, ethereal, inspired makeup. So ballet buns, uh, ribbons, ballet slippers, and of course, pinks. So I didn't actually have a ton of pink products to work off of, so I thought I might want to get a few. And actually, this time, instead of looking at one of my regular places, I looked at Walmart. And to be honest, Walmart had some incredible makeup, especially a lot of ballet core pink products. So one of the first products I got was from Hard Candy, and this is their pink ink eyeshadow marker. It's a shimmer finish, and it's perfect for a ballet core look because it gives you that beautiful pink shimmery appearance. It's great for the lids. I even mixed a little into the highlighter. I feel like Hard Candy is an underrated brand. I only hear about them a little bit, but it's pretty awesome and really affordable. And this comes in different colors too, if you want to do something that's not ballet core. And then an old standby is the Maybelline uh, City Mini Palettes. This one's in Skyscape Dust, and it's perfect for the pink ballet core trend. It's got some pinks and mauves that can really work for a ballet core look. Then I wanted a seriously pink blush. So I opted for ELF, ELF, however you call it, putty blush. This one is in the shade, this one is the shade I wanna say Bora Bora. I'll put it in the uh, description box. Also really, it's nice, it's buildable. You can get just a light flush or you can build it up as I did in the video because I wanted a stronger pink. Very affordable as well. I think it was $7, but I will put that on the blog. Of course, I needed the perfect pink lipstick for a ballet core makeup look. I wasn't totally sure what to go with. Then I found Milani's color statement lipstick. This is in the shade Pink Frost. It is literally the perfect shade. Like if I could dream up a perfect ballet core shade of lipstick with a finish, it would be this one. It just gives you that perfect frosty pearly glow. The beautiful pink screams ballet. The scent is like, what is it like? Have you ever had a watermelon Jolly Rancher? This is exactly what this lipstick smells like. It's really, really cool and it makes me want candy. So without any further ado, here is my spring 2024 ballet core trend inspired makeup look. I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to start with the Maybelline City Mini Palette and take that sort of rosy mauve shade there and just start to work it through the crease of the eye just back and forth, just to get some saturated pink color. This one is a matte finish. Ballet Core is a little bit more about shimmery and dewy, but this will work for the crease. And then blend that just to get rid of any harsh edges. So you get a really soft diffused pink shade in the crease. Then take that light pink white shade there and blend that through the brow bone just to highlight it a bit. Nothing too crazy to this look. Now take the shadow stick from Hard Candy in that pretty metallic pink and color all over the eyelid with it. Really getting a nice saturated pink shade. And then blend it just a little bit with your fingertip and even take it into the inner corners of the eye. Really build that shimmer. It's a really nice buildable color. It doesn't dry too quickly and it's not too sticky so it's really fun to work with. Then I took a black liquid liner 
and just ran that along my top lash line. Really wanted the contrast between the light pink and the deep black liquid liner. Just wing it out a little bit at the edges. And then taking a mascara and again a really intense black shade, the lengthening mascara. Just put that on your top and bottom lashes. Again, it's just going to give a nice contrast to the pink shades that we're using. So just a few coats of the lengthening mascara will get the job done. And then just a tiny bit on the lower lashes. Not too crazy. Next, take a concealer and just pop it under your eyes. We want a nice natural finish so we can start adding in our other pink shades. So I just blend it with my fingertips. You can use a brush to get into any corners just to get a nice natural finish. Take a light brown shade for the contour and just lightly run it under your cheekbone, blending it out. We don't want a strong contour. This look isn't about contour, but we just want a little subtle definition. I used a pearly highlighting shade and I just loaded a lot of it onto the tops of the cheekbones, all around the high points of the face, several different layers. I also took it on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, just to get a really strong highlight. It's a big part of the ballet core look, is a pearly highlight. And I added a little bit of the eyeshadow, metallic eyeshadow, to the top of my highlighter just to give me a little more pink to make it a bit more of the ballet core. Then I took the putty blush from ELF and I started putting that on my cheekbones, the apples of the cheeks, and just building a lot of pink a lot of rosy flush. The nice thing about this putty blush is you can build it and blend it for the perfect effect. It's really nice and buildable. So really just keep adding it until you get that strong pink shade. It's all about pink. And I also added a little bit to the tip of my nose for an extra flush of color. Then take a pink lipstick. This one is the perfect shade for ballet core. And pop that on your lips. This one's a pretty frosty pink. It's a great finish. Really nice shade. And then we have our finished ballet core spring 2024 inspired makeup trend. It's actually pretty easy to create. It's a fun look and you don't have to use the most expensive products if you don't want to. A good amount of these are from Walmart. And there you have my finished ballet core inspired makeup look. It was so much fun to create. I actually really liked it. I didn't think I was gonna like all the pastels and pinks, but they're really pretty. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this video gave you some inspiration for this budding spring trend that is coming at us all very soon. For more details on the products and tips 
for the tutorial, you can check out my blog. It is in the description box. And stay tuned for more spring 2024 trends that are coming up. Thank you again for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.